back to Comic Book Adventures. I want to thank everybody out there for tuning in on the last video. I had a lot of fun. Thank you for anybody that subscribed, liked. Even, even, even if you just tuned in for like three minutes, thank you again. I really do appreciate the love. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't liked, go ahead and like. I promise you guys I will have so many more things coming your way. Um, the last video, I went to Tate's comic book store. I had a lot of fun. I, I picked up a lot of great comic books. If you haven't looked at the video, go ahead and look at it. Um, on today's journey, I will be going to Phil's comic book store located in Margate. It's a small mom and pop shop. Um, I want to see what rare gems I can find in there. I recently started my collection of Batman vs. Predator. So my goal is to really find as many of those missing ones that I need for my collection. And other things that maybe might be in there that might interest me. I'm looking forward to sharing this experience with you guys. And on today's budget, I'll be doing a $30 budget. So I'll try to keep it within that $30 budget and let the adventure begin. Hey guys, I'm back. As you saw in the video clip before, I was at Phil's comic book store. A little smaller shop compared to Tate's, but overall for being a small mom and pop shop, they were amazing. The staff was amazing. They had a great collection. Great pricing in my opinion. If I overpaid, please go ahead and comment below. Like I said before, I'm trying to learn about comic books again, and I'm trying to learn the pricings. So whatever suggestions or anything that you guys can give me, go ahead and comment below. I do appreciate the love. If you're liking the video so far, go ahead and hit the like button. On today's purchase, unfortunately, I did exceed the limit that I was actually looking for. I exceeded by $5. Not too much, but again, I had to stay under $30, within $30. And I'm kind of disappointed in myself, but I'm not too disappointed just for the fact that I was able to find some of the comic books that actually always intrigued me as a young kid. And the funny part, it was actually my girlfriend that found them for me. And when she showed me, I had so many flashbacks to when I was younger. I remember seeing these at the store. So I was super excited to buy it, but let's get into it. So the first one is Deadpool. So this is a lenticular cover. It actually has the Punisher, um, the fun Punisher's first uh, appearance, as you can see right there. with. Deadpool. I love these comic books. Um, I'm going to open it up, show you guys. I paid $6 for this. Like I said before, if I overpaid it, go ahead and comment below. In my opinion, I actually got a deal for being in great conditions. Let me open it up so you guys can see. And there you go. As you guys can see right there, Punisher, Deadpool. And then when you open it right here, it gives you the real cover and this one right here is the despicable deadpool issue 287. um i don't remember much about this one but i'm super excited to reread it i'll let you guys know how it is how it was um i love deadpool i'm a big deadpool fan as well so let's get into the second ones there we go the next one is batman and robin the boy wonder um like i said before i'm a big batman fan as you can see I'm right batman. there um, I saw this one. I fell in love with it. I love the Joker and I just love the tattoos right there. I don't know what this is about. I'm going to try getting the other ones for this one to follow this collection. I am super intrigued to reading this one. I'm putting this to my collection just because of this cover right here. And it's a Frank Miller, which I love Frank Miller. So the next one is uh, the Batman versus the Predator. This is part of the collection my collection that I was looking for. When I got into the store, I asked the guy, hey, do you have Batman vs. Predator? And he pulled out a good part of what I needed. Um, this one right here was $3. This was right, right here is one out of four for the second battle. Um, and overall, in the Batman vs. Predator, I believe there's three major battles that they had. I love this crossover. Um, the reason why I'm trying to collect the Predators vs. Batman is because um, recently Marvel bought uh the predator and the alien um universe which i found to be pretty exciting so i'm excited to see what crossovers they might do with the marvel world 
and maybe hopefully these go increasing in prices so the next one is another batman versus the predator this one right here is the first battle this one right here is issue number two out of three um uh, this one right here was three dollars the condition is great very excited to add this to my collection another predator versus uh batman this one right here is two out of three for the first battle um uh, this one right here was 550 super excited about this one next one is the falcon but bomb 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 another uh lenticular cover right here with the iron man uh, i don't want to open this up but this brings two um comic books it brings this one right here which is um a newer i guess falcon comic book i've never seen this before um but this one right here is the version i do remember it when i was younger um super excited about this one as well and lastly the last two right here are the predators like i said before i'm very interested in collecting these and i'm super excited about these so guys let me know if i've overpaid i just wanted to do a quick review about those comic book stores show you guys some of the comic books that they had i know it wasn't much but overall for the price i paid i think i got some great comic books here and like i said before go ahead and comment below if there's anything or anything interesting that you guys want me to go get go see if you live out here in south florida and there's comic book stores that you think i would like or you would like me to go do a review about go ahead and comment below um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you for tuning in on today's episode of Comic Book Adventures. Stay safe, everybody.